Hi guys, welcome back to the Vigil Gentleman Studio. Today we've got Sean in the chair. How are you, mate? I'm all right. How are you good? Are you good? Yeah, good, man. Um, so what we do? What's the plan? Um, so basically, I've been growing it out for three years. Okay. Yeah, but I think it's time for, for a change. Okay, no worries. Yeah, what are you thinking? Um, so I have a picture. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, just something like that. Mm, I can't really see what, what that is for you, to be honest. Okay. Just some of that. All right, okay. So um, that's very different to the other one you just showed me. Uh, in terms of how neat the back and sides are on the other photo. Yeah. As what in, would you prefer on the back and sides? Do you want it to still look quite natural? And Yeah, as in just kind of growing out. Growing out. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's cool. All yeah. right, no worries. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Um, sure? 100% sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why, why why are you choosing to do it now when you've grown it for three years? Have you, have you had any haircuts in between? No. So you've not tried any longer hairstyles? You've no. not tried a shaped hairstyle? No, no. Okay. Are you sure you want to do this before you try a longer hairstyle? As in, I have time, I can just grow out again, if, if anything. And sure. I mean, something similar to yours, maybe, but... Okay. Yeah. Maybe okay. the top a bit longer. A bit longer on the top. Okay, yeah, yeah cool, cool. And something that, um, if I leave it down, it still looks kind of polished, kind of... Ain't gonna happen. No. Your hairline's too small. Okay. The gap between your hairline and your forehead is about an inch and a half. Okay. So that is only ever gonna hang down over your eyes. All right. So there's no way that's gonna look... Did you say polished, did you say? Not polished, as in just tidy... No. It, definition of tidy is hard to, to... Would you... Nothing lying down across your face would be classed as tidy. It wouldn't look okay. tidy, if you get what I mean. Okay. It looks tidy because it's like off your face, brush back. That's the kind of... The yeah. dean, like, sort of look of, of tidy. All right. you, it's hard when you've got a hairline like yours because it's so low. Okay. We can't, we can't opt for something that is going to be very similar in, in, if it's going back and going forwards. Because if it's okay. long, it's going to hang down. Okay. And, there's, and I can't cut it to hang down. Right. Yeah. So right. I can't cut it to hang down for it yeah. to go back. Do you get what I mean? It's gonna, it, it has to be balanced somewhere and everything else. So mm -hmm. you, you're best sticking to one particular look that you like the look of more than trying to wait okay. for a couple. Like you could wear it differently through the top and parted and whatnot. You can, you can do a lot of things like that. You could probably put a diffuser through it and scrunch it and things like okay. that. But being able to wear it down is a whole new hairstyle. Right. So if you want to wear it down, we'd have to do a different look, okay. if that makes sense. So yeah. it depends what you'd prefer to do. How would you prefer it to look daily? Like every single day, how would you prefer it to look? That's the probably the best. Just kind of slick back, to be fair. I'd go for that, yeah. if I was you. All right. 100 million percent sure you don't want to try an actual haircut that is cut long. Are you 100% sure? Because yeah. we've done this before yeah. and we've changed, people have changed their minds at the last minute. Because I'm only saying this, right? Because you've grown it for three years. It, would make, it, it wouldn't make any sense to not try it long in terms of like the way your hair could fall differently. We, right. Like you must have seen some of our videos where we've done, we've left hair longer and it looks completely different. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. I just feel like I'd love to be three months in growing my hair, uh, three years in growing my hair now. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd be experimenting loads of different looks, you know what I mean? Yeah. With it being longer. Yeah. I don't want you just to go back to something you already know because it's easy or because you're here. Okay. That's the only thing. But if you want to make that decision, that is entirely up to you. I'm not, I don't want to talk you out of it. I yeah, just want to, yeah. I'm just trying to think maybe you should try uh, you know, your hair cut long with an actual style and texture and everything yeah. else put into it, we could talk about before you whip it all off. And I know, like, you know, you could, you just grow it again, like yeah. obviously, but it's three years in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, but it's up to you. I'm, I'm not trying to put you off. Did you have any uh, particular ideas or? No, no, not particularly. No, I mean, no, no, no. Normally you come with the ideas and I try and work around that. But um, I mean, l looking at it, I mean, as you can see, it's very long. Have you been maintaining it? Have you been looking after it? Uh, you... yeah, I've been slacking recently. You've been slacking recently? Yeah. Okay, let me just see what, what my fingers go through it like. Uh, okay. Yeah. How often are you combing it and brushing it? Um, maybe once a day. Once a day? Oh, that's good. Okay. So you're going to say once a week then. Okay. Um, I mean, that is extremely long now. It's... To be honest, it's, I mean, this is the biggest blank canvas you're ever going to have and I'm ever going to have. Right. So, it's, I mean, we'd, we'd probably have to just kind of look through some ideas and chat and stuff about what you'd like to do in terms of, um, in terms of, like, a longer style. Yeah. Have you thought about any longer styles? Have you been looking at anything like that? Or have you just been focusing on purely on a shorter style? As in, the main reason why I'm getting it cut so drastically is because um, it's not suitable for my work. Ah, okay. Because um, I work as a chef, and all the steam and stuff, it just makes it all clumpy and... Right, uh, okay, okay. So you're trying to have something that's more manageable for you for day-to-day. Mm. -day. Yeah. I think, I think that's answered the question then, I think, really, mate, if I'm honest. It, it probably doesn't have to go as short as that, though. But if you right. want to go that short, that's cool. Obviously, it's, it's a lot easier when it's shorter. 
I, all, all I ever try and do is just not go straight back to something that's really short, only okay. because of the fact that you've grown it for so long. But if, if you prefer to go back to that and then just maybe grow it out from that style, yeah. that could be a good idea as well. Yeah. It, but it's probably going to be more, it's probably be better for your lifestyle, if anything, if you're a chef. Maybe I could use my sort of creativity to make it look a bit more lived in. Okay. Could be quite good. Yeah. So maybe not as, with, with the picture you showed me, the first picture you showed me, it, it looked very much overgrown and outgrown more yeah. than it looked as it was meant to look like that. Okay. So it would probably look a bit different today anyway. But it would still be the same kind of shape, longer on the top, short on the sides, natural looking. But we could do it where, like I said, the back, like, with, across the ears and stuff, it, it sits pretty much like the way mine's yeah. kind of falling. Do yeah. you know what I mean? It, mine is uncut though. Mine's genuinely not been cut since February and we're in June now. Okay. So mine is genuinely overgrown, you yeah. know? It's hard to sometimes make it look overgrown yeah. though when it is, yeah. you know, if it's not, you know what I mean, if it's not being cut. Um, but if we, I think maybe that could be, Based on your job, based on the two images you show me, I feel like that is the way you want to go. Maybe it's worth just doing that and cutting it into a nice shape for you. And then if yeah. you want to grow it, you can. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Yeah. All right, cool, man. Sweet. All right, well, let's get you gowned up and um, we'll get you started then, mate. All right. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take this off first, okay? Are you 100% sure, yeah? Before we do it? Yeah, go for it. Cool. Are you sure, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Cool. 100%? Yeah. It's barely going through it. Yeah. And these are brand new scissors, mate. You know what I mean? It's just so thick. Uh -huh. So let's give this a, a shampoo and condition, mate, all right? Right, guys, so um, Sean's hair is nicely, um, I just conditioned it for him because he had kindly enough washed it for us this morning anyway. Um, so I just put a bit of conditioner through it. Um, and now I'm going to cut in the shape. So I'm going to start off with a horseshoe section. Now, we cut Sean's hair off to start with in like a sort of one-length cut. But I want to leave it as long as I could because I want to keep that lived in finish. So I want to make sure that it sits not too high straight away. So brought that down and then cut it off very low down. Uh, and then what I'm going to do now is cut in the back and sides first because we want to keep that kind of lived in look. The, honestly, Sean, your hair is going to look unbelievably different today. Okay. But in a really good way. All right. Because right. I can already see the wave starting to kick up. Now, there's a video we did with G, a guy called Jay from Liverpool, right? Yeah. And it's, it was so interesting how his hair was really long. And then the minute we cut it, it's like a medium length. It, it basically shot right up into like yeah, this wave. I, I've seen that one. You've seen that one, yeah? yeah. I've got a feeling yours is going to do that as well. Okay. Maybe not as much, but it could be wrong. Yeah. But I think you're going to end up with that lovely wavy kind of like flow haircut yeah, more than it yeah. being like, you know, kind of straight and whatnot. There's a lot of weight. If you could feel Sean's hair, mate, the, the, the weight of this, I reckon you've lost about half a stone, mate. Seriously, with the weight of it. Have you yeah. felt the weight of that? And then you've still got left, like half the, the hair left yeah. on, right? Yeah. So I reckon with the weight being taken out, I've got a feeling you're going to see this already kick up even though we're going to go to a shorter length. Mm -hmm. So I reckon, you'll, I reckon you'll notice a difference, especially at the top. I think the top will look really, really nice. I think it'll be a really lovely lived-in look. Um, which again, you know, it's a, it's a, kind of, it's a, it's a good trend. It's bang on, but also, you're, you're just really lucky, mate. You've got the hair for these particular current, current trends that we're working in. So take advantage, all yeah, right? Take yeah, advantage. Yeah, yeah. I like your attitude about growing it out as well. That's a good attitude to have as well, mate. So starting off with a horseshoe. I'm going to work this all the way around. No, we've um when I asked you at the start, have you been looking after your hair? Yeah. You said you've been slacking. Yeah. Apart from the ends of what we've just cut off being quite dry, yeah. your hair feels in really good condition, you know. Yeah. So the reason I'm saying that, and this is that talking to anyone on camera, if you guys are growing out your hair, let's just say you are maybe not at Sean's stage, maybe you're two years in, a year and a half in or whatever. The work that Sean's put in before he said he started slacking has helped this haircut do its thing, okay? Because if Sean hadn't looked after it at all, this wouldn't be as healthy through the mid-lengths because this is the root in the mid-lengths from his old haircut. And they are in really good condition. You can see how much water retention there still is in there, you know? It's, it's, it's in really good condition. This is a really good way of seeing why it's important to look after your hair when you're growing out, not just when you get to a certain length, like trying to repair the damage that's been caused because 
Um, even though like, like I'm using obviously a slightly wider tooth comb, but as you can see, it's not getting stuck in, in Sean's hair. Like there's drag, don't get me wrong, because of how thick his hair is. Like, if you could feel how thick this is, you'd, you'd understand, right? And I'm sure any hairstylist that watching out there, they'll be able to see why my comb's doing this because of how thick it is. But the condition that his hair's in, is going to allow me to give him a really lovely cut, probably better than his expectations. Let's start with the back and side. So lived in looks, short back and sides, longer on top. We need to showcase this being shorter, but we still want to be able to give Sean a flow and a bit of movement in there as well. So I can get away with going fairly short. Now, as we see, um, unfortunately, we didn't have time to do his beard today, um, which I'm gutted because he's got a crack of beard and I wish I could, but we don't have time. Um, but I want to take, obviously, separate his sideburns into the beard as well. So when he does shave his beard, you know, you've got a nice finish on there as well. I'm going to start with a two finger in width section. Okay, now again, we don't start from here because that's a bit of no man's land, as I call it. That's a little section completely isolated on its own that just fills in the roundness here. So where that starts to concave and work around to the forehead, we want to keep that in there for fullness. So we our section starts from there, right? Like so. I'm working this through. Now I'm going to take a bit of fair amount of length off. Probably about that much, okay? So it's, it's crazy because we've already took off a load of length and that was just to start the haircut with. So as you can see, we're still keeping a nice bit of length in there, but we're going to take this up a little bit and that will still give him the opportunity to get that movement in there as well. So again, just working through, following the guy from the right-hand side, cutting this in like so. There we go, there's my guide. Nice and straight out from the head, I'm just working all the way down, matching the length from the top down. That will naturally create length around the perimeter, and then we can choose what length the finish is around the bottom then, after that as well. So how did you manage to go for three years without getting a single trim? As in, I did it at the right time, I feel like, because I did it during COVID. Ah, then, yeah. You cheated then, basically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and by then, I was too far in, so yeah. it didn't really matter what it looked like. Ah, I okay, yeah. cut it off for two years. So hang on, so did you did you start growing this from the first COVID, from 2020 then, yeah? Obviously from the first yeah, ever, yeah, locked, ever yeah, locked down, yeah. yeah. Around March, I want to say. Was it, yeah? Yeah. So what was your haircut like? What was the what was your going into lockdown haircut like? Um, Just a standard back and sides fade that the and like the top a bit long. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I've I've, I've been, I've got I've I've had fades most of my life. So okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And how old are you? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah, you. I think with the way the styles are and how long fades have been in. Yeah. You probably have just had fades. Yeah, I'd yeah. imagine if you were like you know what they've been in about ten years. You were twelve. Yeah. It's probably about right. Yeah. So so is this your sort of um your first experience of having, even just what the finish looks gonna be like, this is gonna be long to you still. I know it's gonna feel short, but compared to what you've, you've been yeah, having yeah, for yeah. most of like your adult life, yeah. it's still quite long, isn't it? You know yeah. what I mean? So. As in, it'll be the longest cut I've had. Yes, ex yeah. that's what I was trying, yeah, that's exactly what I was trying to get at, yeah, yeah. You enjoyed the process of, of, of growing your hair? I mean, the process was nice. It's just the, um, once you reach a certain stage, it just gets bothersome. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Right, so now the back and sides through here, I'm at the point of where I do my cross check now. Like I said, look at that. It's coming in, it's coming in. I wish I had this, okay? I wish you want to look like mine, I wish I could look like yours right now, Jacob. How long have you been uh, cutting hair, if you don't mind me asking? How long have I been cutting hair for? Uh, I've been cutting hair for 21 years. And you started off as an apprenticeship? Yeah, 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 I started off at, so I, so I started off at, off at um, late when I was 14 and I was doing Saturdays. Okay. Um, and I was just kind of helping out the, the, the barbers, you know, kind of getting the drinks for the customers and, you know, gowning people up, cleaning up right. basically, you know. So that's a real coming up story. Um, yeah, just, you know, brushing the floor, cleaning the toilets, polishing, polishing products with Mr. Sheen, yeah, you know. Yeah, But no, it's, it's, it's great, you know, apprenticeships, aren't just about learning the trade though, right? They're not just about starting from the bottom. Right. In that sense of being able to cut it. What it does, it teaches you how to run a shop. Okay. Because it teaches you how to make sure a shop is clean and tidy and looked after and f runs well. Because yeah. you end up doing all that, you see. You end up running the shop for them. Because the guys are so busy, they need you to basically help out. You know right. what I mean? So what it does, I find, is that it gives you a chance to see what it'd be like to run your own shop without realising. Like it's a, it's a sort of, it's, a, it's an unconscious, um, Sort of learning curve, I guess, you know. Yeah. So, um, would yeah. you like shadow the um, other barbers? Or? Um, not at the start, I didn't. No, not on the Saturdays. The Saturdays, I was purely there as help, right? 
But because I kind of took an interest in it, I'd stand and watch. You know, so we, for example, um, you know, if I do like the half terms and stuff from, from school, yeah, I'd go and I'd go and help out there as well. I'd, I'd work the half terms as well, like the whole week and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and what I'd do there, because you'd obviously have your quiet times in the in the mornings and whatnot. Whilst there was maybe like one or two clients in and no one else waiting, so I didn't have to do anything, I'd watch them. And I just got really interested and really fascinated by it because it was just um do you know what? It wasn't even about the haircutting, it was the social aspect. I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a kind of um I, I don't know, I just I'm just very social in that yeah, sense. I, I like yeah, I like yeah. that's kind of where it came from, if I'm honest, mate. I, I think that's where the love of it came from first. I don't think the love was cutting hair at first. I think right. the love was um the actual like uh, the social aspect of it. Um so now I'm cutting the perimeter at the bottom, so I'm starting at the nape. I want to keep the nape fairly short and close to the neckline because I don't think you need all this length down the bottom. I don't think it's going to do anything for Sean's look, if I'm honest. My middle finger is resting flat against the neck and I'm creating the line that I want. Because of Sean's texture of hair, I will point up the ends, but as you can see, even with the straight line, it breaks away naturally. So the straight line doesn't stay looking straight. But as you can see, when you cut that in a straight line, it keeps it nice and full. The ends aren't dry, but it does kick up in itself, okay? So I'm going to use the guide there and put this just above the ear. Again, it's probably not too dissimilar in length to mine, really. It's just that he's got a lovely shape cutting in now and I haven't, basically, that's the difference. To cut that back to just past the ear, so that flows in nicely. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to work around like this and pull to match. Like so. There's a guide. There's a guide. Good straight. So anyone struggling to do behind the ear, you want to keep some some length behind the ear to fill the gap in of the hairline, but also you want it to match as well. So as you pull this back, everything starts to match, right? And then we can just fine tune little bits that we need to. So I'll probably do that with the razor in a little bit as well. For the nape, and we match up from the left hand side to the right hand side, as you can see. Again, keeping everything straight. That's the other side. And sits the same that side as well, just like that. Right, I'm gonna add the razor into this now to really, really bring out that movement, and that texture in Sean's hair. And you see, I'm just breaking up, right? I'm just picking the bits that I want. I'm not cutting kind of like um, sporadically or anything. I'm, I'm picking sections. I'm keeping it at the same height, and I'm working to where I feel I want to add the movement, the texture. Now, this is the difference when you're using, for example, if you're using a razor um, to say a texturizer and scissor. Now, first of all, I wouldn't use it in, in Sean's hair because it wouldn't give the look that I'm trying to achieve. But also, it is a little bit harder to be as precise when you're working with the texture as in this type of angle um, because you'd have to either pull it out through here or you'd have to put it in scissor over comb. So that's why you could create a similar texture, but I find that using a razor on this type of texture and density of hair is, is really good. And again, you just hold it like a pen and you slide in from halfway. Basically, from, you hold it like a pen and I'm sliding from uh, halfway into the, the section itself, into the length. And that just allows me to just create that thinness that we're looking for, but also the movement as well. So again, so once I've done this texturizing, I've done the back and sides, the primary shape's in, the perimeter's cut, and the texturizing's done. The only thing I'd need to do, tidy up the neck here, sort his side bends out. And I think we've taken it from that length that he came in with, it's probably took me 15 minutes. All we do then is connect the top in, right? So a long haircut like this, if it wasn't for a tutorial like we're doing now, could be done in half an hour. Even on a transformation like this, it could be done in that time. So don't be afraid that if you think long hair is gonna take you ages. If anything, a fade would take me longer to do than, than this, to be fair. So don't be put off by the timings. So here's where we ask you the, the, the look on the sides, how are you liking the length? Can you see it? It's got that, still got that lived in yeah, finish too. Yeah. No, you can't see that side there, but you like on the length? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Hundred percent. Hundred percent, yeah? Yeah. Cool man. Sweet. <laughs> so top now. now. This is a simple point of connecting. Okay. So starting from the right hand side, horizontal section. Now this is a finger in width above the horseshoe. We pull this out and now I'm gonna connect this into the top section at the sides here. Okay? Like so. Pull it down slightly. So it's coming to about the temple area, so we can maintain that corner, but also create a connection into the hair. And now I'm actually going to work it in to 
the fringe as well because we're going to be over directing the fringe no matter what so this is going to add the connection into the fringe still add the movement in there but as you can see when you're pulling everything away from where the fringe falls it will fall like this so it'll maintain length through the middle okay well, so as you can see following the same guide the angle is getting lower down now Sounded quite dramatic that then, didn't it, Sean, with the hair falling down the gown? <laughs> I hope that got caught out you caught that on the, on the mic. That sounded really dramatic then. Like so. So if you were going to wear, if, if Sean wants to wear his fringe down, we'd have to obviously have a chat about you know, the, he's got a ridiculously strong hairline, it's very low. So obviously we'd have to have a chat about that, but also trying to manipulate it into different looks would be very, very hard for, purely because of his hairline. And as you can see the finish on the fringe now to create this look wouldn't work for him wearing it down. And my guide. You can see, you see the guy coming through the section as well. Other side now, same thing again. Final section from the left to the right. So this creates top heaviness, which is what Sean asked for. He wanted Touch a bit longer, keep a bit of length in the top. So we've got a connection which creates the flow and the movement on the side and the back into that transition into the top. But then by doing everything and bringing everything over to one side and over directing it, we'll maintain the length down the middle, which is the top. And we do now, we match the back in, like so. Bring everything back, like so. We'll start pulling this out now as well to create the head shape at the back. If I was pulling this too far down, for example, down here, you'd be left with a lot of weight at the crown which we don't need. We're creating the head shape for Sean at the back. This is the kind of head shape I feel he needs. As you see when that dries, it keeps everything nice and full throughout. She hasn't got a really heavy crown. Doesn't needle, be too big. There we go. Now what we do, we make start up from the front now. So we take two finger width section from here, like so, comb it out. Pull that back a bit, take a section from behind there, behind the apex, and pull it up into the section. All that'll do is we've got that we've now got a guideline from the crown that we've just been cutting. Pull it forwards, as you pick it up, I've got a guide behind it. And that's the only thing we need to take off. Keep that shape in. Two sections left in this now. To the top, hit this up, bring it in a bit further forwards now, and there's our guide again. So we're following it's getting less and less. So as we go to the front, there'll be probably hardly anything to take off. Pull this up, pull this back forwards like so. Pick it up, and you see there's hardly anything to come off. And that is all connected through the back, and that is sitting perfect. In there as well. Last thing we do now is just cut in the fringe like so. Just take that tiny little peak off to match up both sides. And come on this angle as well. Right, so last but not least, texturizing. Pick it up, wide section, right up, and slide in from halfway up. And you can see that coming out there, you can see the hair coming through. I'm going from just above, so just below halfway now, I want to create collapse, and work up like that, up to the ends, like so. And that's creating collapse, not lift, because this hair is so heavy, it's gonna fall nice and flat. So we've got a little bit of lift at the back, a little bit of collapse. Now we'll do a little bit of lift, and we'll leave the front. Above halfway now, like so, and we'll leave that fringe to do its own thing. 
So I'm going through the round of the head. Now this is where the build up of the weight is at the round of the head. Because I don't want to take the round of the head too short. I just want to give it a little bit of thinness because obviously that's where the bulk and where that connection stroke disconnection is sitting as well. Like that. And that just takes out the thickness and the bulk for them. So it falls nicely, okay? A little bit of root lift behind the fringe and we leave it. And then we look at this round of the head here, just here. Again, as you can see, really sporadic. The sections aren't perfect, okay? They don't need to be. It doesn't sit too bulky. That's it, yeah, okay? So I'm gonna finish off just by um, sorting the side bends out and then um, I'll start out for you, mate, okay? And tidy this up for you, make it look a bit neater. So you can get that kind of slightly nicer, tidier finish in, in a guy's long haircut just by doing this. It works a treat. And now all this neck hair is untidy. We're just working it up into the hairline like so. So how is that lens looking for you, mate? Yeah, I think it's perfect. Yeah, happy, yeah? yeah? Sweet. What a change. My God, what a change. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to style this, okay? Now, this is a sea salt infused styling paste. Make it through the hair. You basically apply this like a conditioner, okay? A paste, like an actual product itself, like a creamy paste or something that you can actually apply into the hair fully and it'll coat the hair better, I find would be better for you okay. in terms of this look. Just to keep, keep the hold, keep the shape, but also give you a style at the same yeah. time. The reason why I'm doing this is because when you've got longer hair or medium length hair, it's very hard to apply a product on afterwards because okay. it's so long. So the best thing to do is start to apply them with a damp and dry them and style them in that way. Okay. So you wouldn't need to put anything else on top of this. All right. That's how easy, All that's right. how low maintenance yeah. it becomes, okay? So put a diffuser on it. I want it to sit very natural and wavy. So dry through my fingers now, okay? that through and then run your fingers through it as well so you've still got the product you can feel the product in there as well and then what that does it creates a nice lived in finish go with however your hair wants to fall your hair wants to fall sort of a think from the right to the left a little bit more yeah i just go with it let it fall however it wants to fall yeah. don't worry too much about it being kind of perfect because you want to look lived in right mm. so if you can see that Top heaviness with the wave. You've got the little flicks over the ears, which gives it the lived in look. It's kind of what I've kind of got there as well. Yeah. And then the back is still sitting in, so you've got shape and balance to it as well. So it just looks like a short slash medium length hairstyle. That looks as though it's meant to look like this. And then as this keeps growing out and whatnot, you'll find, you'll notice it, it changes. And as people know with curly and wavy hair, no day is the same. So tomorrow it might look completely different, but yeah. the main thing we've cut in there is the shape. As you can see, we've got the shape that's in there, that square shape. And everything else just kind of goes however you want it to. You pick on the day where you want that to sit, you know? Yeah. So if you want to have a little look at this, right? So if you look through this mirror to see yourself in the back mirror there as well, can you see the way the shape is? So yeah. you've actually got an actual hairstyle now more than it just being like really long because it was down to like, I think it was down to here, I yeah. think it was. So now you've got the shape in there as well at the back. So it looks just like you've had a trim, but it's very natural looking yeah, as well. Yeah. Happy, yeah? Yeah. Thanks, man. I'm going to look at the other side as well. Check the other side out as well. So that's just all your natural hair texture. Yeah. Hair envy by a lot of people, I'd imagine, mate. And then your neck's nice and clean as well. So we've yeah. kept a bit of bulk through here just to fill it all out because it needs it. And then we've created that shape through the back as well. Mm. Happy, yeah? Yeah. Thanks, man. Sorry, I couldn't do the beard. No, no, but, no, uh, no. Next no. Time, we'll, do, we'll do that next time if you yeah. want as well, mate. Yeah. All right, man.